Say it again, sorry. Yeah, nature next to me. Are you prepared to do a live here right now? Nate doesn't know how he could. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Hey, Lisa. Sounds good. The uh, people are keeping them too busy. Can I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, our chairman. <laughs> thank you, Hank, our, our secretary of the Michigan Republican Party. Thank you. Well, uh, as, it, as the uh, secretary said, my name is Rob Verhulen. I am the chair of the Kent GOP, and I want to extend uh, my warmest welcome and thank you for your attendance tonight. This is... Uh, this is my favorite time of the political calendar. The primaries are over, the people have spoken, and now our mission is to unite and support our nominees and get them to victory in November. I am uh, I'm proud of the campaigns that have been run in Kent County. And while they were, were spirited at times, we now turn to the task at hand, and it's our obligation and our pleasure to endorse and support each and every nominee who was elected yesterday. Here, here. Here. And as an aside, I understand we have a couple of uh, brand new precinct delegates who have never been to the Kent GOP, and I'm just gonna, and I don't know where they are, but just ask them to stand up and uh, let us acknowledge them and thank them for their willingness to get involved. <laughs> On behalf of the uh, Kent GOP, I want to congratulate Tudor Dixon, our nominee for governor. I want to congratulate John Gibbs, our third district nominee yeah. for Congress. <laughs> I want to congratulate John Molinar, our second district nominee for Congress. You know, Kent County has been represented in Congress by two Republican members for a long time, and we cannot allow that to change, and we have to make sure it continues for the next number of years. Yeah. In addition, it is my view that no statewide candidate can prevail without doing really, really well in Kent County. So we need to support our governor nominee, our secretary of state, our attorney general, the university boards, those who are nominated to act as Supreme Court justices, and we want Kent County to be the shining star of the state of Michigan with a huge Republican turnout in November. And I'm not going to name names, uh, but I want to extend the congr my congratulations to our, our, our county commissioner and state legislative candidates. We promise we will do everything we can to assist you in your campaigns. And for those who ran and fell short yesterday, uh, I know from personal experience, Lisa, are you here? 
Lisa Lyons. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know it's not fun to lose. Uh, it's very painful, especially the day after when you're picking up signs. But I want to thank you for your willingness to engage. And again, from personal experience, things have a way of turning out over the long haul. So stay with it and thank you. And you didn't come here to listen to me, so I'm going to cut it off. Uh, I want to introduce Congressman Peter Meyer to g give a few remarks. Congressman. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I don't need the lights dimmed, but I appreciate that. No, no. Um, I think in the spirit of unity, this is such a fantastic event every cycle. Um, I will say there are a few more cameras and reporters than there were, I think, in the 2020 Unity Breakfast out at the Pavilion. Um, but it, it's been my honor to serve this district. It's been the honor of a lifetime to be a Republican nominee in the 2020 cycle. And now that is an honor that we're passing off to John Gibbs. So we can read another round of applause for John. That wasn't me welcoming him just yet because I wanted to say, um, I called him last night uh, around 1.30 in the morning um, and shared you know, what I think anyone in this room who has run for office knows, that just putting yourself out there is a really, really miserable, terrifying, trying experience. And whether it's in, in the, the, the sweetness of victory or the bitterness of defeat, um, I think of what Teddy Roosevelt said about the man in the arena. And I think that's important to know because we have a lot of candidates who are going to be going forward into some tough general elections. And I think I was telling you, um, you know, you hope to win the primary so that you can double and triple the work you put in in the general so then you can double and triple the work in office. Uh, so nothing gets easier from there. Uh, but this was, this was a hard fought race, uh, decided by less than 4,000 votes out of over 100,000 cast. Um, you know, it was, you know, a, a long race, but a race that John ran very well. So I kind of spoiled it on the clapping earlier, um, <laughs> but just want to now officially introduce, send my congratulations and wish you the best of luck and all that is to come, your Republican nominee for Michigan's third congressional district, Mr. John Gibbs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Peter, for those very kind words. Uh, thank you for uh, your call yesterday. I really appreciated that. And I do remember that uh, throughout this whole process, every time we were at an event, we'd see each other. You'd always come up and shake my hand with a very positive attitude. So I really appreciate that. I think that shows goodwill and, and good character. So thank you so much uh, for that. I really appreciate it. Um, I may lean on you in these coming months for. Uh, Um, as things come up. But yes, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Um, and, you know, it's been quite a uh, busy uh, past several months. And uh, we were up pretty late last night, as uh, Peter mentioned, up till about, I think I went to sleep at 4 a.m., if I recall correctly. Um, so uh, it, was, uh, it was quite a, a surreal evening. And uh, President Trump called, and one of the things he said was, uh, take a vacation tomorrow for about two hours. <laughs> So uh, we're going to have to hit the ground running pretty hard here really soon. But um, I really like this event, and I like the concept behind it of unity. I think we do want to come together, and we do need to come together. So I think part of the process of that is, for example, for myself, um, you know, meeting with all of us stakeholders in our big tent, uh, maybe those who are with me as well as those who uh, um, maybe have a different view on certain things, 
Uh, so I think it's important to do that. So I think it's important to meet with all the voices in our uh, in our party, and I will be doing that. We will be making the rounds, and I will be listening and uh, and uh, uh, just uh, coalition building and expanding our tent because we certainly want to keep uh, this district red um, as it has been. Um, we definitely don't want to, want to, it to go blue at all. So, and I think we will do that. So I really do think that in a year like this, um, I think that we have very, very good shots of, uh, of keeping the district red. So I think we're going to do well on that. And I look forward to meeting many of you in, in here who I have not met yet, um, and those who I've met but have not had a chance to really build a deep relationship with yet. I do look forward to deepening that relationship with folks from um, all sides of our, our big tent, and I think it's going to be a very good process. I think we're going to get to know and, and like each other, and I think uh, we're going to have a really, really winning coalition going into November. Um, we're going to scare the daylights out of D.C., I believe, once we get in there as well. <laughs> and uh, I guess in closing, I would just a request of you that the first time the Democrats try to call me a racist or white supremacist, raise a toast and drink to it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Congressman and Congressman-to-be. Uh, that is our program tonight, and we have a ton of candidates here. Uh, and so what I would encourage you to do is mingle. We've asked them to bring signs, uh, 